Do we really know who Karen is? It's a question that has been echoed across the internet, creating waves of laughter, confusion, and sometimes frustration. If you've been anywhere online in the past couple of years, you've most likely come across the term Karen. But what does it mean? Who is Karen and why has she become such a cultural icon? Let's start at the beginning. The term Karen is more of a concept than a person. It's a label given to a certain type of individual, usually a middle-aged woman, who is often seen as entitled, demanding, and lacking in social awareness. The name Karen was chosen somewhat arbitrarily, but it has stuck around, cementing its place in internet culture. The archetype of Karen isn't new, but the name has given it a fresh face. The term has its roots in online communities, where users began sharing stories and videos of encounters with individuals who embodied the Karen persona. These posts quickly gained traction and the term Karen was born. But why has Karen become such a cultural icon? Well, the Karen phenomenon is a reflection of societal issues that are prevalent today. It highlights the sense of entitlement and lack of empathy that can occur in everyday interactions. Karen has become a symbol of these negative behaviors, turning them into a subject of discussion and often ridicule. However, it's important to note that the term has garnered some controversy. Many argue that it oversimplifies complex behaviors and situations, reducing them to a single stereotype. It's also been criticized for its potential to be used as a tool for harassment or bullying. In spite of these concerns, Karen continues to be a widely recognized figure in popular culture. The term has permeated our everyday language, often used as a shorthand to describe a certain type of behavior. Now that we have a basic understanding of Karen, let's dive deeper into some Karen outbursts. As we explore these instances, we'll gain a better grasp of the Karen phenomenon and what it represents in today's society. Consider the following scenario. A typical day in a supermarket takes a turn for the worse. Picture this. A woman, we'll call her Karen, is standing at the checkout. She's arguing with the cashier over a coupon that's expired. Her voice is raised, her tone is condescending. The people in line behind her are shifting uncomfortably, exchanging glances. Some pull out their phones, recording the unfolding drama. Now let's dive deeper. Karen's behavior is disruptive, yes, but it's also a stark example of entitlement and lack of empathy. She's so focused on her perceived rights that she's oblivious to the discomfort she's causing others. The cashier, the innocent party in this showdown, is left flustered and embarrassed. Bystanders are inconvenienced, their shopping experience tainted. The video, once uploaded online, goes viral, turning Karen into an unwitting internet sensation. As seen in the clip, the Karen phenomenon can turn a mundane situation into a spectacle. In another instance, a peaceful day in the park becomes a theater of the absurd. Picture this. A sunny afternoon, families enjoying picnics, children laughing, a typical day in the park. Suddenly, the tranquility is shattered by a Karen, her voice piercing the calm like a siren's wail. Her behavior is an exhibition of entitlement. The belief that her needs and wants supersede those of everyone else present. The public's reaction is a mix of shock and disbelief. Some attempt to reason with her, but their efforts are met with increased hostility. The confrontation escalates, attracting wider attention, turning a serene afternoon into a spectacle of chaos. In the aftermath, the Karen leaves, but not before her actions have left an indelible mark on the day. The parkgoers are left to pick up the pieces, their peace disrupted, their day tainted by the unwelcome drama. As this example illustrates, a Karen can disrupt the peace anywhere, anytime. Imagine trying to enjoy a meal when suddenly chaos ensues. Picture this. A woman, let's call her Karen, begins to create a scene in the restaurant. She's not satisfied with her meal, her drink, or the service. Her voice rises above the clatter of cutlery, her words sharp and demanding. The staff, caught off guard, attempt to calm the situation, their professionalism tested in the face of public humiliation. Patrons, initially surprised, soon display a range of reactions. Some shake their heads, others attempt to ignore the spectacle, focusing on their own meals. A few even pull out their phones to capture the unfolding drama. The consequences of Karen's actions? A disrupted dining experience for everyone, a tarnished reputation for the restaurant, and a viral video that will haunt her for years to come. This incident again demonstrates how the Karen phenomenon can create a storm in a teacup. 
What drives a Karen to act out in such a manner? This question has been on many minds and today, we're going to delve into the psychological factors that might contribute to a Karen's behavior. Firstly, let's talk about entitlement. Entitlement is a personality trait characterized by a person's belief that they have the right to certain privileges or treatment. This sense of entitlement often comes with a lack of consideration for others' rights or feelings. In the case of Karen, this entitlement can manifest in various ways, such as the expectation of superior service or the belief that their convenience should be prioritized above others. Next, we have a lack of empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. It's what allows us to connect on a human level. However, a Karen often displays a distinct lack of empathy. They may fail to recognize the impact of their actions on others, focusing solely on their own needs and wants. And finally, the need for control. This is a significant factor in Karen behavior. The need for control can stem from various sources, including fear, insecurity, or a desire for power. When a Karen feels like they're losing control, they may resort to lashing out, demanding to speak to a manager or even resorting to aggression. It's a way to regain a sense of power, even if it's at the expense of others. So what does all this mean? It means that Karen behavior isn't just about rudeness or poor manners. It's a complex mix of entitlement, lack of empathy, and a need for control. These traits can be deeply ingrained and difficult to change, but understanding them can help us respond better in challenging situations. While it's easy to dismiss Karen as just a meme, Understanding the psychology behind the behavior can help us respond better in these situations. So, what have we learned about the Karen phenomenon today? We've peeled back the layers of this cultural term to understand its many facets. We defined a Karen as an entitled, often middle-aged woman who isn't afraid to demand what she believes she deserves, even at the expense of others. We've witnessed this behavior in various scenarios such as supermarkets, parks, and restaurants through our case studies. We also delved into the possible psychological factors contributing to such behaviors, exploring theories around entitlement, lack of empathy, and the desperate need for control. These insights not only help us understand the Karen phenomenon, but also serve as a mirror to our own actions and attitudes. While the Karen phenomenon can be amusing, it's crucial to remember the real-world impact of such behavior and strive for understanding and empathy in our interactions. After all, understanding is the first step towards change. Thank you for sticking with us through this deep dive into the Karen phenomenon. If you found our exploration of this cultural term both insightful and entertaining, please give this video a like. Your support helps us create more content like this. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into popular phenomena, dissecting them from various angles, and bringing you a unique perspective. As we wrap up, Remember, understanding is the first step towards empathy. So let's spread more understanding and less Karen-like behavior. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.